Shalom, 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 Yasha Allah. I want to give all glory and praise to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, to the elders of Israel. Shalom, shalom to you, brothers. Shalom to you, Aquas. Um, I want to address a little um, something that's been on my mind lately. Um, you know, I want to speak a little about raising children in this world and in this truth. Well, my experiences so far, anyways, you know, understand. I have girls, so I got a, a lot of sleepless nights ahead. You know what I'm saying? But, Lord willing, you know, they will take heed to the Most High's law, statutes, and commandments according to the, the law. And, you know, not go after the, the, um, the ways of this society that we grew up in, you know, because we grew up in a time where, you know, we, we can, got introduced to so much different doctrines that have been pushed and we had so much ways that we can go left and go right to you know with the the Christianity and the Catholicism and Baptist and all those denominations and stuff like that and you got different kind of world religions and stuff like that that make it, it makes it comfortable to be a part of but we know the the most high separates things like that. That you know what I'm saying? We were we, we were separated for a reason. But, you know, Lord willing they take heed to the laws of you know of God and not by the laws of this world, you know, freaked out society. You know what I'm saying? You know, but one thing for one thing about two things for sure is that, you know, our kids you know that we love dear you know we don't want to see them do bad you know what i'm saying we don't want to see them we don't want to punish our kids that's, the, that's how the most i feel about us he don't want to punish us but he will he ain't gonna spill a ride on us you know what i'm saying he ain't gonna stop from jacking us up when we go off and we that's how we are with our kids you know what i'm saying but they are a blessing you know what i'm saying they are a headache too but they can be a blessing you know what I'm saying? So, um, let me get my first scripture. I'm sorry. I gotta go get my sword real quick. I wanted to get, uh, I wanted to get uh, out of the book of Psalms, a few scriptures. <clears throat> Psalms uh, 127 and 3. Psalms 127 and 3, and it reads, Lo, Children are an heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. See that? I'm going to read it again. It says, Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is a reward. So these kids that we get that from the Most High is a blessing to us. They are a reward from the Most High to us. Yeah, they can know what buttons to push and know how to make you mad and they push your buttons constantly each day but they are a blessing from the most high so you know we have to also be thankful for that but we must teach them the things that we learn late in our awakening you know what I'm saying into our Hebrew birthdays we have to teach them the things that we learn late and I'm sure I'm like the small things, the small things that like we took for granted, you know, the things that we do now, small stuff, feast days, new moon celebrations, uh, 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 major feast days, and you know, just learning how to be a brother, even to your people again, 
You know, this is something that we had to relearn over. Some brothers that came in the truth brought that spirit with them, you know what I'm saying, of still, I can't be a brother to you because of something else. No, man, you can't be like that, you know what I'm saying? We all, you know, we all children of the most high, you know what I'm saying? If you go to tour tribes, you know what I'm saying? So, I, you know, we have to learn to be better brothers to each other's brothers and sisters to each other. You know, prefer one another. You know what I'm saying? No 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 matter the situation that that you're going through in your life. So that's just something that Israel gotta have to get buried, you know, better at. But, you know, we have to teach to the stuff that we took for granted. Small stuff, laws, feast days, you know, stuff that, you know, the milk that we try to get today in Israel. So <clears throat> So the laws, feast days, you know, how to carry ourselves with, you know, with the spine in our back. You know, something, you know, we, some of us had to grow a spine coming into this truth because we was just spineless and we didn't give a damn about each other. So this is something that we have to instill in our kids now and that, yo, you know, you can't be like this. This, 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 this right here. That's your. You know, when I'm talking to my daughters, I say, "You see that? That's your cousin right there. That's your brother right there." And my daughter look at me crazy, like, "Are you serious?" I'm like, "Yes, that's your people. You love your people. You know what I'm saying? This is just something that I was never, you know, conditioned to be like, yo." That man right there, you don't know him, but, you know, that's your people. And, and you you know, you supposed to love him. You know, that's how, you know, my parents didn't talk to me like that. Or try to show me or guide me through, like, the little stuff about shit, you know, shit like that. So, that's just something I, and I you know, I made a promise to myself that I would try to be a better dad and taking care of that, you know, doing that for my kids because I didn't get that. You know what I'm saying? So... I wanted to be a better dad. I wanted to be a better dad than the dad I had. That was a goal for me. And so that's, you know, a, a road I'm traveling down right now with my wife and my three kids. But you know what I'm saying? But we can't forget we have to teach them, you know, the milk that we are, some some of us brothers are struggling with to this day. You know what I'm saying? Let me get another scripture, uh, Isaiah 54 and 13. Let me pull it real quick. I say uh fifty four thirteen. <clears throat> it's like Isaiah chapter fifty four verse thirteen. And all thy children shall be taught of the Lord. You see that? All our children should be taught of the most high. I was never taught. About the Most High God of Israel, <laughs> I was never taught that. I was never taught that I was the chosen people. That I was, I was God's chosen people. I, this is something I had to learn. This is the small stuff that we have to teach our kids now. The little stuff that means a lot, though. You know what I'm saying? And great shall be peace, and great shall be the peace of the children. You know what I'm saying? So this is just. We can't forget about the little things, you know. We have to keep drilling that in the kid's head just like they go to school. They get, they get drilled problems in their head and they remember. So hopefully, you know, we you know, we drilling this milking into them, you know, they they will get it and they will, you know, run with it. You know what I'm saying? And they won't forsake it, you know what I'm saying, when they get older. You know I have to kinda, of, you know, show my girls like, look, you know, you might not like something but you know, you just have to have use wisdom to understand that, you know, you might not like it, but I can put up with it. And you do that with family members in the world. And, you know, you can, you look at somebody and be like, oh, you know, I don't, I don't like this person, but I'm going to put up with them. You know what I'm saying? This is just, this is just something that that, that we have to. Make sure that these kids is getting, man. It's 
just like anything else. You know what I'm saying? If this is not done, then the children will scrape from the teachings and forget. You know what I'm saying? So they they have to be reminded, you know what I'm saying, with the rod of correction. Spiritual rod, you know what I'm saying? You ain't always got to beat your damn kids. Because be using that scripture talking about you got to beat the kids. That's, you know, you ain't always got to beat your kids. That spiritual correction will hurt them too. Little do y'all know. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so, but if not, if you don't change it, then the kids go get buck wild. They get older. Ah, mama ain't that. You can't tell me nothing. You know what I'm saying? Rolling the neck, rolling the eyes. You know what I'm saying? Then you know that's going to lead to That's just going to lead to more problems. You know what I'm saying? So you have to you have to catch that early and and, 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 and hit them with that rod of correction, that spiritual rod of, the spiritual rod of, uh, rod of correction. You have to. Otherwise, they're going to start getting buck wild. I'm going to get another scripture, uh, Proverbs 20 and verse 11. <clears throat> it's the book of Proverbs chapter 20 and verse 11. Even a child is known by his doings, whether his work be pure and whether it be right. So, even with the kids, you know what I'm saying? You're going to know, you know what I'm saying, when they get older, you know, whether they, whether they heard and whether they're going to, you know, take this and run with it or they're going to go to complete left and, you know, God forbid, but, you know, maybe the Most High don't want it. The Most High don't want everybody. You know what I'm saying? So, we have to just make sure that they don't forget and they, you know, carry on this lifestyle. But the truth is the truth. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but we, you know, we, being a parent, you want the best for the kids. And that's how the most high feel about all his church. He want the best for all of us. He don't want to see us die. He don't he don't want to destroy us. He don't, he's not gonna take he, he doesn't take joy in destroying us. You know what I'm saying? This is something that he don't take pleasure in. You know what I'm saying? We even when we discipline our kids, it's not like we getting a getting a a damn high off damn uh correcting our kids. Especially when we have to lay hands on them. I'm not feeling joyous about that. Y you probably feeling it in the sense of, man, damn. Maybe I went a little bit too hard. But nah, she needed to get that. You know, depending on the statue of, you know, what they get punished for. You know what I'm saying? But that's just something that, you know, we have to do. But the most high, he, you know what I'm saying? He don't want to destroy us, and we don't want to destroy our kids. I'm, or, or, or we don't, you know, want to hurt our kids, but it is what it is. Sometimes we have to lay hands on them, you know what I'm saying? But the most high, you know, he loves to see us, you know, in this truth. You know what I'm saying? Which, you know what I'm saying? Let's lead me to the next script. Uh, John, uh, Third John chapter 1 and verse 4. It says, first, uh, third John chapter one and verse four. I have no greater joy than to hear my children, than to hear that my children walk in the truth. The Most High is glad. The angels rejoice when we walk in His truth. When we keep in God's laws, statutes, and commandments, the Most High loves that. It's a joy. It's, it's, it's no greater joy. Than to do that. But, you know, that's why I have to stay on my kids so they don't forget the teachings. You know what I'm saying? It's not mainly them that I'm concerned about, it, but it's it, it it is the world that we live in today that, you know, that you have to prepare them for as much as you can, you know. Because the powers that be in the governing body, they, you know, they wicked. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, with I have three girls I have three girls so you know it's, it's gonna be hard for me you know what I'm saying I'm gonna get pull another script uh Syrac chapter uh 
or chapter 42. Sirach 42 and verse 9. Yeah, that's the one I wanted. Sirach 42 and 9. It says, The father waketh for the like the father the father waketh for the daughter when no man knoweth and the care for her taketh away sleep you see what I'm saying and <laughs> I have a lot of sleepless nights and you know the care for all these girls I have man they I mean I lose sleep man I'm tired I, I have a lot to be concerned about you know these kids keep me on my toes man you know what I'm saying because that's what made me come out of the world, actually, and, and straighten up, you know, when I had my first daughter. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, I can't be out here doing no dumb shit like this. You know what I'm saying? I got to clean myself up. And that's what I did. Me and my wife got together. You know what I'm saying? We put our heads together, and, you know, we got our place, and we got situated. And the next thing you know, two two kids later, man, you know, seven years later. You know what I'm saying? It's a blessing. You know, I, you know, I give all praises and uh, and glory to the Most High for that. You know what I'm saying? But taking, you know, trying to fend for these girls, you know, <laughs> I'm going to lose sleep. You know what I'm saying? The Most High said, I'm going to lose sleep. Take away sleep. When she is young, lest she pass away the flower of her age and be married, lest she should be hated. You know? So, but. I would, I would lose, definitely lose sleep, man, over, over taking care of these kids, man. You know what I'm saying? But this is why we, you know what I'm saying, go out here in these streets and try to wake up, brothers, man. So, you know, this brother can get the and, and, and get this uh, get the laws and, you know, he go teach his kids now. You know what I'm saying? That's, you know, I'm in the crawling stages of, you know, of my journey, you know. You know, and personally, I want, I don't want to settle for less. You know, I owe it to the Most High. That's a promise that I, I made a long time ago, and I don't want to break a promise. You know, that's a, and it was a promise of me coming out. Of it. I was deep into the world, and I made a promise like, yo, man, like, I'm straight. No, man, and you know, I ain't saying I've been perfect, but you know, everything you know has you know been going accordingly. You know, I give all. Uh, glory to the most high you know what I'm saying so but that's what we have to do you know we have to go out here and teach these and teach these other men you know and hope you know that put a spine in your back raise your kids you know what I'm saying teach your kids the teach your kids about the most high about the most high uh, uh God Abraham Isaac and Jacob straight up man <clears throat> we get one more script uh Syrac 33 and 17 The Syrac chapter 33 and verse 17. It says, Consider that I labor not for myself only, but for all men that seek learning. And this is, you know, this is why we go out and fool. We can, you know, put that, you know, plant that seed out there, you know, increase the most highest fruit. You know what I'm saying? We can't keep this. We can't keep this to ourselves. That's why we go out here and push, you know, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, and you know, repent, and, and you know, you know, repent as it is like. Come back and keep God's statutes and commandments and to the best of your ability, and you know, be a brother. Learn. We have to learn to be a brother. That can go a long way. You know what I'm saying? So with that, Israel, I'm. A, I'm a, uh, I ain't want to bother you too long. Uh, we give all glory and praise to Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. We give all praise and glory to Yahweh Shah. I mean, all, to, to Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. It's like you. Uh, honors to the uh, the elders. Shout out, shout out to the elders of the camps. Um, and yeah, man, let's keep pushing and doing this work, and and, and uh, keep uh, keeping these laws, statutes, commandments of the Most High. And with that, we say shalom.